If you're studying linear equations, it's likely that you're familiar with these three forms. The first one, y equals mx plus b. This is the slope intercept form of an equation. Then there's this one, ax plus by equals c. This is the standard form of a linear equation. And there's also this one, y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. This is the point slope form of a linear equation. But there's actually a fourth version called the intercept form. Not the slope intercept form, but the intercept form. And we're going to talk about how to use the intercept form to find the x and y intercepts. So let's start with this equation. Let's find the x and y intercepts the usual way. In order to find the x-intercept, we need to set y equal to 0. So this becomes 3x plus 4 times 0 equals 12. 4 times 0 is 0, so we just get 3x is equal to 12. And if we divide 3 by both sides, we get x is equal to 4. So the x-intercept is 4. Now, if we want to find the y-intercept, we need to do the opposite. We need to set x equal to 0. And we need to solve for y. So this disappears. We get 4y is equal to 12. Divide on both sides by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So the y-intercept is 3, or we get the point 0, 3. This is our x value. This is the y value. Now, let's talk about another way of finding the x and y intercepts. So we're going to convert this linear equation from standard form to intercept form. To do that, I'm going to divide everything by this number. So I'm going to divide everything by 12. Now, 3 over 12, instead of dividing it that way, I'm going to divide it backwards. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So this will reduce to x over 4. Of course, if you have 3 over 12, you can reduce it this way. 12 is 3 times 4. 3 is 3 times 1. You cancel the 3, you get 1 over 4. Or you could just divide it backwards. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So this is going to become y over 3. And 12 over 12 is 1. So this is the intercept form. It's x over a plus y over b is equal to 1. Now, what you need to know is that a, the number under x, when this is 1, a is going to be the x-intercept. b, the number under y, is going to be the y-intercept if, this is a big if, if this is 1. And we can see that here. The x-intercept is 4, and the y-intercept is 3. So that's the benefit of the slope intercept, I mean, not the slope intercept form, but just the intercept form. You can easily determine the x and y-intercept. By the way, for those of you who want access to more video-related content, feel free to check out the links in the description. If you click on this More button, you're going to see other videos relating to the video that you're currently watching and these links are separated by chapter and of course you could check out my website video tutornet where you'll get access to my video playlists final exam videos and also test prep videos so feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance now let's look at another example let's say we have 4x plus 5y is equal to 20 go ahead and convert this linear equation from standard form to intercept form and use that to find the x and y intercepts. So what we need to do is we need to change this number to a 1. In order to do that, we need to divide everything by this number, in this case by 20. Now, dividing it backwards, we have 20 divided by 4 is 5 
and 20 divided by 5, that's 4. And here we have 20 divided by 20, which is 1. So now it's in intercept form. Our A value is 5, and our B value is 4. So the x-intercept is going to be whatever this number is. The x-intercept is 5, which means we can write it as an ordered pair as 5 comma 0. And the y-intercept, that's our b value, that's 4. So we can write the solution as an ordered pair, which is 0 comma 4. So that's how you can quickly determine the x and y-intercepts using the intercept form of the linear equation. Now, let's work on one more example. Let's say we have 7x minus 8y is equal to 56. Just like before, go ahead and convert it from standard form to intercept form and find the x and y intercepts. So let's begin by dividing everything by 56. 56 divided by 7, that's going to be 8. So we get x over 8. And 56 divided by 8 is 7, so this is going to be y over 7. 56 over 56 is 1. Now, here is the intercept form of the linear equation. Notice that in order for this to work, we need to have a positive sign here in addition to the 1. What we have is a negative sign, so I'm going to adjust this equation. This is x over 8 plus y over negative 7. So the only thing I've done is I moved the negative sign. I've, I've pushed it to the 7, which will make this positive. These two equations are equivalent. A positive sign times a negative sign is still a negative sign. But now it's in this format. So what we can see that is b is negative 7. So the x-intercept, that's going to be the number under x, that's 8. So we get the ordered pair 8 comma 0. The y-intercept, it's not going to be a positive number, but it's going to be a negative number. It's negative 7. So we get the ordered pair 0, negative 7. So those are the intercepts for this particular problem. Now let's try an unusual example. Let's say we have 4x minus 7y is equal to 9. Go ahead and find the x and y intercepts using the intercept form. So just like before, we're going to divide by the constant c. In this case, it's 9. The only difference is we can't reduce 4 over 9 or 7 over 9. So we just have to leave the equation like this. But now I'm going to move this negative sign over here. So here's a question for you. What is the A value and what is the B value in this problem? A is not 4 over 9, nor is it just the bottom number 9. A is going to be 9 over 4. The reason why it's inverted like that is because it's on the bottom. B is going to be negative 9 over 7. So our x-intercept is 9 over 4, whereas an ordered pair that's going to be 9 over 4 comma 0, and the y-intercept is negative 9 over 7, or as an ordered pair, 0 comma negative 9 over 7. Now, if you want to show your work as to why a is this number, here's what you can do. You can set You can set this portion 
of the equation equal to x over a and solve for a. Let's do that. So if I set 4x over 9 equal to x over a, if I multiply both sides by 1 over x, I could cancel the x variables. So I'm left with 4 over 9 is equal to 1 over a. Now what you can do is raise both sides to the negative 1 power, which will cause the fractions to flip. On the left, 4 over 9 becomes 9 over 4. On the right, 1 over a becomes a over 1, which a over 1 is the same as a. So you get a is 9 over 4, which is what we have. So that's how you can show your work to prove that a and b are these values. Therefore, these are the x and y intercepts. So that's how you could find the x and y intercepts using the intercept form of a linear equation.